Hi all, this is an unboxing video of Infinity Reference Series speakers with the number 6520 and actually Infinity is a new name or rather less heard of name in India where Pioneers, Sony's and JBL's are much heard of but actually these Infinity speakers are a sub-product of Harman. So you might have heard about Harman Kardon and many of you might not know that even JBL is a sister company of Harman. Okay, so these are, I found after doing a lot of research or after uh, talking to a few of my friends who are audiophiles, I came to know that these are one of those best speakers that you can buy at a decent price point. So I bought these from Amazon and this is how the Amazon guys delivered it to me. So no proper packing as such as in, in the Amazon boxes or anything as such. They have just uh, cling filmed or they have wrapped it with a cling film and delivered it to me. But still I would say I'm happy because there are no damages or there is nowhere where I can see that there is some physical damage to the product during the delivery. There are two reasons that I brought it from Amazon because uh, as you might know there are a lot of uh, ripped off cheap speakers with the same name or there are duplicate speakers in the market. So I didn't trust those Cardecore guys if they had the original ones or not. So this was an Amazon fulfilled product and I am a prime customer. So I trusted Amazon and went for it. And the other reason being the same speakers which I bought in Amazon, I bought them for 5400 but the Cardecore guy quoted me a price of 7500 so which is a very huge margin so I was like let me go with Amazon because I trust Amazon and I have been using it for some years now so okay so let's uh, open with the boxing so let's let me pull off this cling film so that you can get a better look of how the carton is And seriously, the fun you have ripping apart cling films is just something that has to be experienced rather than that is something that can be expressed over a video. Cling films, bubble wraps, I really like popping them. Okay, so there is a lot of mess or clutter. So as I said, I bought these from Amazon and the print is not clear, but as you can see, Amazon.in and it's the invoice and it has the same invoice over the cling film as well okay throwing this junk away now coming to the box itself so if you look at the box it has a lot of details like uh, as i said it's a product of harman so it has the parent company logo or the naming and then infinity this is the infinity's logo and the speaker series numbers itself so this is how the speaker looks like this is the tweeter unit because this is a component speaker not a coaxial one so i specifically chose component speakers because they have better bass output and also they have better audio clarity as well so if you're looking for audio clarity and as such so i would suggest you go for component speakers rather than the coaxial ones so any component speaker you buy it comes with three units one the subwoofer pit or the woofer this is for the lows and you get a tweeter this is for the mids and highs and you get a crossover so crossover is the one which divides the signals between the woofer and the tweeter. And the one more reason for me choosing this infinity specific set of speakers, there is also a higher version called Kappa series, but I didn't go for them because I want to fit them in my car without making any modifications, like not changing my head unit and neither ch or installing an amplifier or anything as such. I wanted that to be in a budget and I just thought this would uh, sit very well with that. And so I went for it. Okay. So coming to the box itself, so here it has all the numbers, it has, what is its size, it's six and a half inches. So this is a high performance component speaker system. And also it has got a few of its uh, uh, details highlighted, that is, this is a plus one oversized woofer. So plus one uh, technology is something that is patented by Harman. So which basically means that in, in, the, in the speaker unit which you have, so you usually have cones uh, and there is a lot of space between the core and the circumference. but one uh, plus one means that this cone or this cone which we have which it extends till the circumference of the speaker so you have a bigger size uh, speaker unit so it gives you better sound and it is also has an adjustable tweeter output so you can adjust it to at 0 db or plus 3 db so if you feel like the audio output is not good enough or if you want uh, more mids and more highs then you have to uh, press on that plus db so that you will get a better audio output and it says high quality edge driven text these are textile speakers by the way so which indicates that they are of very good quality <clears throat> and this can fit in most vehicles and it has a peak power of 270 watts and it has got a continuous power handling of 90 watts 
and its frequency is from 53 hertz to 21 kilohertz and its impedance is 3 ohms and its sensitivity is 93 dB and if you tilt it to the side it gives you the MRP and everything as such so as you can see here as I said the uh, Cardecos guy its price is actually at 8990 and the Cardecos guy quoted me 75 but still I got a better deal at Amazon for 5400 and it also gives you the specifications of the speakers I mean uh, what is the size that it needs to fit inside the hole of it and what is its uh, width and what is its uh, diameter and what is the crossovers uh, details and everything as such so you have all the details in here and also you have a few other uh, patents or a few other uh, details specifying what their licenses are and on the third side of it it has the same thing all the details given in different languages so that users all over the world can understand what this is all about okay so this is the one side of it where we are going to open and this is the other side which is a fixed unit so you, are, you can't open them but one thing which is shocking to me that even though I got it from Amazon is that it does not have any seal so it doesn't have any seal uh, as in where I know if this is originals or if this is some cheap ripoff or if it is some other ripped off in an original packing as such I don't know but however because it is from Amazon so I'll just go with my gut and I will believe that this is an original one so let's even check open them check and see if we think this is original or not because there are a few things which you can check for in anything that you buy because if they are originals they come with very good quality and if they are not you will possibly find out by looking at them okay I opened it at the wrong way so once out of the box this is how it looks like so this is all the paperwork I'll deal with it later so if you look here this comes with a set of tweeters so as I said uh, it has two tweeters and two woofers so these tweeters look pretty small very very small as you can see they are around the size of a 10 rupee coin I believe INR so you get two of them and then you have these fixtures and mounts so that you can fix them to your door panel okay I'll put them apart and these also you get them so that you can fix them to your doors itself so I believe you place the speaker in here and then pull the wiring uh, from behind and then you lock it from inside the door so this is how I mean the speaker will fit in like this and you get them locked so you have plenty of attachments for speakers so I would say I would have to figure out how to use them properly so that I don't uh, misplace them I'll just put them aside and this also comes with oh, mm. okay so it comes with a lot of attachments so you the thing is you just have to figure out how to use them or how to place them and then that's when you can make the most out of it I would say so I'll give them a try later but I'm just showing you it has got like few small attachments few medium size attachments and two large size attachments as well so no matter where you want to fix them depending on these attachments you can fix them to the door without any problem and as I said this is the second part of it so this is called a crossover and let me open this as well let me try and open this neatly if possible but no right so if you pull this out of it so here you can see so uh, so this is where you give the input from the head unit or for your existing uh, existing speakers which you have you pull that out and you give the input here so these two go to the tweeter and these two go to the woofer unit so you connect this to the tweeter you have an extension wire and you'll connect it and to the woofers which I'm still going to unbox those wiring will go here so this does all the dividing for you and as I said it has got a button to toggle between 0 dB and plus 3 dB so it just works on a click of a button so now it is up so that means it's at 0 dB but if you think you want more highs and mids so you press it and then it locks there and now it is plus 3 dB so you'll get a more highs or more the volume of the highs and mids will be more so you get two of these one for each of the uh, speaker set and with these small things apart so the thermocol is also gone oh boy so here you go these are your actual speakers okay so if you open them on one of those boxes, you have all the nuts and bolts and all the 
the things that you can uh, put in for dampening the speakers or for a proper fit you get a thermocol sheet kind of a thing which is sealable by I mean you can pull it off and you can just attach it to the speaker and you have a plenty of nuts and screws or bolts oh, no it's nuts and screws actually so you have both of them so you can just attach them to your car and then you can place it in the proper place and then you just fix it to your car so that your speakers doesn't move and you got plenty of them so I don't think that you need to worry about anything and also it has got it comes with small uh, stickers saying infinity so that probably you can put them on your doors or just as a branding thing but I kind of find them cute and coming to the original speaker itself oh it's it's heavy for sure and even the packing and everything so these come in a sealed cover so that nobody messes with them and this is like a base of it so that you can fix this to your car door and then you have to fix them to this attachment so this is kind of an adapter kind of a thing a bit very big one and now I'm tearing this away oh boy they look beautiful don't they with the rose gold uh, small ring and then the silver ring so this is just a speaker mesh so the people of uh, the infinity guys give this to you so that in case you are not fixing them inside your door but if you're fixing them on the door or if you're fixing them on your boots uh, tray parcel tray so then you can use this and this will uh, give them a very good look rather than just uh, looking at a speaker like this so this is just the cover of it So the fixtures you have here, so you have to match the holes together and then you just screw them and then this is fixed. Okay, so I won't do that right away, so I'll just take it off and I'll keep this apart. So if you look at these speakers, don't they look gorgeous? The glowing is perfect and as I said, one plus cone. So if you look at here, the cone almost extends to its end and there's very little gap here and uh, so the, the speakers or the cone size is very big but for other speakers if you see there is a small even though they are uh, six and a half inch speakers there is a small gap and this cone size is usually small so they made it big and so this is what they patented so this is the base uh, base unit or the woofer unit and if you turn it to the back you have a very big magnet and then you have all the details here like uh, what is the speaker's name let me just put it close to the camera let it out or just there you go so it has all the details like what is its size and they say that it is a high performance speaker unit and then it has a peak uh, RMSS of 270 and then its individual uh, regular running wattage is it can support up to 90 watts and then it has got the Harman so which is uh, the parent company of Infinity itself so if you guys like Harman Kardon then I believe you will definitely like these as well and here you have uh, got the uh, cabling itself for positive and negative so this is one speaker and the same with the other speaker as well it comes in a very neat packing it has got its own adapter and then it's again the cover and the speaker itself so as I said uh, we have the warranty cards and the warranty billings as well let's open them as well so that we know what's inside okay and it also has got transparent logos saying infinity so that probably if you want to stick them to your car or just to make your car appealable so and if you but it works only with a dark colored car so as you see this is a transparent one so you can just fix it to a car bonnet or to your boot and it might look beautiful if you like it so this is some crap in Chinese and this is actual it comes just like a booklet so it contains all the details like what these are, how they can be uh, handled or what are all the parts or how to fix them, it even comes with a diagram. So if you open it, it comes, it becomes a very big piece of paper. There you go, it comes with all the specifications in multiple languages. 
like Chinese, Italian, French, German, English. And then it comes with, what is it, uh, what is everything? And this comes with different size of speakers or this, I, I believe this is the common uh, instruction document that they give for all the speakers because here we have reference 9620, 5020, 6520, 275TX. So it, it has specifications of all the different speakers. So I believe this is the common uh, uh, booklet that they give for all the speakers. So this is the complete thing. So they tell you uh, where is 6520? Let me check for that. Uh, there you go. Here, found it. So this bit is for 6520. So it gives us the detail as in what to look for, how to install it, or how the small housing goes. And I said about they give us something like a thermocol kind of a thing, where to fix it, and how to do it, how to fix the tweeter settings, how all it goes into, and how you fix it into the door, and everything as such. So I'm planning to install these speakers on my own. So I'll do another video of installing these reference speakers in my car. Thank you.